A few days before I spoke with President Biden, I was going through a box of stuff in my basement that belonged to my brother Carter. He died by suicide when he was 23. I don't have a lot of pictures of my brother on display in my house. His death is still so painful to me that I find it hard to see his photos. These two pictures really stunned me. They were taken shortly before Carter graduated from Princeton in 1987. He looks so young and happy. There's no hint that 15 months after this picture was taken, he'd kill himself in front of our mom. Looking at these photos, I don't recognize my brother. And I realized I don't think I ever really knew him. I didn't allow myself to, and I didn't allow him to know me. When our dad died, Carter was 12 and I was 10, and it slapped us both into silence. We never spoke about my dad with each other, or with anyone. I think my brother would be alive if we had. Why is it so hard to talk about loss and grief? We all go through it, so why do we keep it hidden away? Cry in private, speak the names of our loved ones in hushed whispers only we can hear. That's why I wanted to talk with President Biden. He's been more public about grief than any American president in history. And this is his most personal interview yet. Do you ever still feel overwhelmed by grief? I do as it relates to my son, Bo. God willing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see him again. Bo Biden died in 2015. And in 1972, President Biden's first wife, Nelia, died in a car crash with her 13-month-old daughter, Naomi. I found myself spending a lot of time what could I have done? Was it my fault this all happened? What could I have done differently? The interview is deeply revealing. The most powerful man in the world talking about the private pain he still feels. I opened one of the boxes that had never been opened and there was a scrapbook. And there was a picture of the car. I took it downstairs and I burned it. I could not, could not. I don't want to know the detail. Grief doesn't go away, but we can learn to live with it and learn from it. And like President Biden, find purpose beyond the pain. The second episode of season two, A President's Grief, is available wherever you listen to podcasts.